What up, everybody? It's your girl, July, from Kickback Couture, and today I'm going to show you the best practices for tuning your drums, or at least figuring out what key they are in in general. So, I'm going to find a kick drum. In this instance, I'm going to use a cage kick from the Spider Demon drum kit. Looks like this. I've dragged it into an instance of the NNXT grain, and uh, these are all default. There are no effects on anything. Uh, and then I have it in umph so that I can play it and do a separate demonstration. So what I'm going to do is right click set root notes from pitch detection in NNXT. And I get a G8 as my root. And that doesn't make too much sense as this is a drum sound and the information is a lot lower than the 8th octave. So let's go ahead and hit set here. Then we get a, actually that may be a 0 and uh, I'm blind. Ah, that's hilarious. Alright, let's go ahead and slide these on for the purposes of this tutorial. I still can't tell if it's an 8 or not. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Hey, I'm not blind. It is an 8. Alright, cool. This says G8, which we know is incorrect, and this says G sharp 0, which we know is probably a lot more accurate so in any case if you had to choose which one to pick for your your root key your root note i would say go with grain a hundred percent over the nnxt because as we see it says our kick is at a g8 and our kick does not sound like that so our kick sounds like this which does not resonate with g8 which on a piano would be somewhere way up there but higher I can't reach it so next step let's go ahead and play this pattern in the drum sequencer and um, for okay cool so I just had this raise 24 pitches uh, 24 cents which is the equivalent of two octaves so I did that as an example but let's go ahead and start with it at zero since unaltered what we want to do is create a bandpass filter so gonna do low cut or we can just do bandpass here uh, and let's move this and we want to isolate the fundamental frequency the fundamental frequency is what is the highest in this case that's where most of the information is it's the loudest so gonna turn this back on this point keep it open and then I can open M tuner and it is also indicating that our sample is a G sharp and it's moving a little bit here and there but we clearly just seen that it's a G sharp so like I said I would go with with grain if you would like access to this M tuner, this M tuner uh, VST, it is free and I will provide a link below so you can go grab that at any time. So, in, in summation, would you use the NNXT or Grain to find the sample of your sounds? I would use Grain. The NNXT may have been released when I was 15 years 15 years younger than now I'm gonna go research that I'll be right back all right I'm back so the NNXT was created well released in 2002 and it is 2019 so definitely by all means go with grain when you get two different root key answers however you would describe that in words go with grain all right i'm back for one more example i realize i only showed kicks and i would also like to demonstrate with snares what the steps would be so i've already set the root note in the nnxt it says g7 which we know is wrong uh the grain grain says f sharp three so let's go ahead and use the same the same steps take the same steps we took to figure out the kick the frequency of the snare is going to be higher up 
then the frequency, the fundamental frequency of a kick would be. Uh, sorry about that. All right. Let's just go ahead and run this. This is the original snare and the fundamental frequency is over here in this area. So I'm going to move this. Can decrease the Q, the Q. And we are getting an F sharp two. So um, I would go with F sharp because Grain also said it was an F sharp. Uh, the numbers behind it don't necessarily matter as long as the key does. The number is just telling you which octave on the keyboard it correlates to. Um, doesn't matter the octave and F sharp is an F sharp. Because we have the EQ on here, it's going to register as a different octave than it would in grain without an EQ. So F sharp is what we want to go with as opposed to the A7 that the G7 that the NNXT gave us. Um, if you like this video, give it a like, comment, subscribe. Most definitely let me know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kickback, and cook up.